So then guys, if you've been lucky enough to get yourself a shiny new iPhone in 2023, but you're wanting to know how to transfer all your data from your old iPhone, you're in luck, because today this guide is going to show you how to move all your data, your photos, your pictures, your WhatsApp messages, all over to your brand new iPhone. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do so. So without further ado, let's begin. So what I have here is I have the iPhone 13 Pro and also I have the iPhone 15 Plus. Now, just for those eagle eye people, you know, some people are going to go, why are you upgrading from a Pro to a Plus? Like I said, this is just for demo purposes. And this is the same for every iPhone in 2023 going into 2024, the process of moving everything over. So the 13 Pro is the older iPhone, as you can imagine. So we've got it right here. What we want to do is we want to have the phone unlocked. So you want to be on your main home screen and then you want to have your new phone next to it and you want to unlock that one and then once that's unlocked you should get something up like this I've just blurred out my email address here because obviously you don't want to share those details but it should give you your ID we want to click continue and then what happens is that the other iPhone will recognize it and it comes up with this globy sort of thing you know lots and lots of dots and everything but what you do with your old phone you want to use the camera and then basically you want to navigate onto it and then capture it and then once it's captured as you've seen right here it will start to get things ready as it's telling you so this will just take another minute or so or a few seconds and then again as you can see here we're setting up the new phone here's your apple id this is my one obviously so i blurred it out but i'm setting it up for me then you need to put in your code so your passcode of your old phone into your new phone just to verify so i'm just going to do that just bear with me and then once that code has been put in, as you can see here, it says setting up your phone. So we just need to leave it for a minute or so. And then your new phone needs to activate. And this is just to activate with Apple to tell them this is going to be your new phone going forwards and everything. And this phone belongs to you. So obviously it just has to work with the servers and everything. And then once that is done, we just have to click continue. I'll just mention here at this point, you don't actually have to have a SIM card in both of these phones to do this transfer. So don't worry about that. But you do need to be connected to Wi-Fi. I would highly recommend that. So both of you on the same Wi-Fi. But I'm just going to set up my Face ID here. So let me just do that. And then once the face is done, you can set it up with a mask or you can set it up without a mask. So I'm going to say not using a mask. That's how bad I am. So um, we're going to click continue there. And now we've got the choice here. So we can transfer from iCloud or we can transfer from the iPhone. So I'm going to talk about this option at the top in a minute. But for the moment, we're going to do the transfer from this iPhone. So we're going to select that one because this is the easiest way to do it. Most of your apps and all your settings, everything will come over this way, including your data inside your app. So this is really, really useful to know too. So as you can see here, it's signing me in. Oh, there you go. It's signed me in already. We click agree. Oh, still going actually, still signing me in. We just leave this run a minute. And that might take a minute or two just to sign in, depending on your internet speed. But then as you can say here, make this your new iPhone. We want to set everything up. We want to transfer everything over. So we click continue. Um, I want to enable location services. It's probably the best thing. Because obviously this is to find your phone if you lost it or things like this. Uh, sat nav abilities and things like that. GPS as it were. So that might just take a minute to come online. Then it might ask you to add any of your Apple credit cards. So you can add this in now or you can add this later. So it's your choices for your wallet. I'm adding it for later here. And then there we go. It, next of all, we're going to click share with Apple. This is F iPhone Analytics. You don't have to share, but I think it's good because basically it just shares with anything that goes wrong with your phone. It helps Apple sort of correct things out. And then the same with App Analytics as well. So any apps that you use, you can share it with developers. So if anything crashes or anything like that, it helps them fix any bugs. But I'm going to say share because it's good to get those apps fully working the way we want them to go. Next of all, we have Emergency SOS. So this just tells you how to use that. Like the 
car crash detection and things like this and how to do everything there and click continue and then next of all what starts to happen is the full transfer so you can see here on the old iphone it's starting to transfer and here it's starting to transfer here now this is going to be a quick transfer i will say this because this is just a demo here so i'm hardly transferring any apps data pictures or anything but if you've got like for example a let's say a 256 gigabyte iphone 13 pro and you've used 250 of that 256 and you're moving it over to your new iphone here then obviously yeah this is going to take a while to transfer everything over as you can see here it says five minutes i've known some transfers to take about five six hours before because so many people got so much stuff to move over that's even increasing up here but it's up to you how you want to do it but uh, you can just leave it be now even if the screens do turn off during this transfer phase don't worry about it just leave it rub and make sure like i said that you definitely have enough battery on both of the phones if not you can always just plug in your charger too and just leave it run so i'm just going to let this complete now and there we have it the transfer is completed now, once the transfer has completed, let's have a look at the old phone here, the new one. It should actually start to restart for us. There we go. So it's just doing a fresh restart because it's got all the new data on it. So just let that restart. And there we go. You can see here on the main menu here. And basically, everything is the same. We've got all the same apps. Everything has been transferred over exactly the same. And that's how you do a transfer from your old phone to your new phone. So then guys, I'm super excited about this because we have the giveaway happening on Tuesday, the 3rd of October. So this was the September giveaway and because of the iPhone releases and everything, it's been slightly delayed a little bit. So I hope you can forgive me. But the great thing is the giveaway is happening Tuesday, the 3rd of October, like I said, at 10 a.m. PST time, what's the same as the UK time at 6 p.m. or 1800. And I'm going to be announcing who the winners are for these pre prizes that you can see right here. The first prize is AirPods Pro. I'm going to be giving away to one lucky person. Another prize is this here, an Apple Watch SE. And then the grand prize I'm also going to be giving away to one lucky person is this, is an Apple Watch ultra and basically there'll be one prize for the three winners that i'll be announcing at this live stream on tuesday the 3rd of october and the great news is you still have time to enter into this giveaway and all you have to do is write down in the comments below of this video of what tech gear or basically what apple tech gear you're planning to buy in 2023 then also at the same time as well make sure you fill in the form what's also in the description of this video too and then after that like i said make sure you've subscribed to this channel and also hit the notification bell because you'll want to know when the live stream is happening and just quickly guys i'm just going to say sadly there's still lots of scammers and spammers out there so i'm still impersonating myself telling you to whatsapp you telegram you and things like this please ignore them or better please do report them like i can show you how to do right here so after moving all that giveaway stuff out of the way there may also be another situation where you may not have your old phone anymore maybe you've sold it and you've got your new phone already or maybe you've traded it in or something like this and you still want to get all your data moved over well this video part of the video will help you in how to actually get all your data back onto your new iphone let me show you how so this time, as you don't have another phone, we don't need to worry about that. You just need your new phone. So like here, I've got my 15 plus here. What we are going to do is we're still going to get basically a backup of the iPhone 13 Pro what I just showed you. But just to demo here, what we're going to do is you've got to go down to the bottom here, find your language. So for me, I'm English. So I've just got to find that on here. So I'm just going to press that there. And then ask that, it asks which country you're from. So I'm from the UK, so guess what? I'm right down the bottom. So like I said, guys, we will get you back up off your iPhone, your last one. And it's very, very easy to do so. But let me just go through in the steps how to get to that point. 
So after setting your language, after setting your country and everything like that, what we need to do is we need to basically choose how we want our appearance. So I'm going to say I'm going to have medium size. Oh, I've just knocked the back button. Medium size, he says. Again, second time lucky there. Uh, so you can make things larger or smaller. I'm going to say medium for me just so I can show you guys what I'm doing. So I'm going to click continue. And then obviously here it's saying it's looking for another iPhone, but it can't find one because let's say we traded in our iPhone. We don't have it anymore. So it doesn't matter. We just select this option at the bottom. It says set up without another device. After this, then what we want to do is we want to connect to our local Wi-Fi. So I've got my Wi-Fi here. So I'm just going to select to that. So let me just put my key in and everything. And then after you put your key in, you connect to your Wi-Fi. It will again then just wait a minute or so to activate the phone. The main reason is it's just the phone needs to activate with Apple that, you know, somebody's trying to set up a new iPhone here and everything. So we just need to leave it here for a couple of minutes and everything. And it's done it much quicker than I thought there, to be fair. But it might take a minute or two long on your phone. Don't worry, just leave it and it will all sort itself out. I have known it sometimes take up to 10, 15 minutes before. So just don't worry. Next was data and privacy. We're going to click continue here and then we can set up the phone then for ourselves or a family member i'm going to set it up for myself and then after this it's going to ask me for my face id so i'm just going to do this quickly now and then after that is completed you can ask if it'll ask you if you want to set up with a mask or not i'm going to say no mask for this one and there we go face id is now all set up so we can now click continue and then what we need to do is we want to set up a code for our iPhone. So just for the sake of demos here, I'm just going to set up the codes one, two, three, four, just for the fun of it. It's telling me it can easily guess, whatever. So we're just going to retype it in again. Like I said, set up your own code, set up your own password. It is up to you what you want to do here. Now, this is the next bit then. What's most important is that if you have another older iPhone, what you've traded in, and if you've got your iCloud account, everything is backed up, as it were, then all we have to do is select from iCloud backup. And what we need to do, though, obviously, then is log in with our iCloud email address and our password. So I'm just going to log in with my details quickly. And then once that's done, it should sign you in. You've got terms, conditions, and everything. So I'm just going to agree to that. So it's going to continue to sign in. So you can see here, it's signing me in. Once you've done your iCloud and everything, so just wait. Might take a minute or two for this. And then next of all, you can see then we have basically all the different sort of backups and everything that's on the phone. So like I said, it was the iPhone 13 Pro. So you want to select it. I've got loads of different iPhones, as you can see here, because obviously I've done so many different, different types of backups, so many different devices. But you should only have a couple here. So what you want to do is you want to select your old phone. So we said it was on the iPhone 13 Pro. So we can select that. And obviously that was done today. And then as you can see here, it will bring everything over to the new phone. So we're going to click continue. And then it's asking us if we want to set up our mobile service because I don't have my cute, my SIM card in or if you don't have your eSIM in. So it doesn't matter. You can set, do this later. Or you can set this up now. I'm going to say set it up later in settings. Then it might ask you for any sort of extra credit cards or anything like that you want to add to Apple Wallet, what you might have had in your last backup. You can do this now or you can add this cut, do it later. So I'm going to say add it later. Then once this is done, you'll get some messages again. This is iPhone analytics. So this is sharing with Apple if anything goes wrong with your phone, software bugs of their own software. So I like to share it because it helps Apple fix problems. And the same for developers too. So any apps that are not working, any apps that might cause your iPhone to overheat, for example, <coughs> Instagram, um, it helps them fix these kind of problems out. So I'm going to say share with app developers. And then obviously the next bit here is just telling you how to use emergency SOS, car crash detection, things like this. And this depends on what iPhone you have. If you have an iPhone 14 or above, you'll get this. Anything below that, you might not get as many choices. So I'm just going to click continue. And as you can see here, it's saying it's restoring from the iCloud. And again, this bit now all depends on how big your backup 
is. Now, I said this before in the last part of the video, and that is, say if your iCloud backup, let's say it's 250 gigabytes. So say you've got an iPhone, and you've got 256 gigabyte model, and you've got now a 512 model, and let's say you filled up 250 out of 256 gigabytes, and you're on, say, a 10 megabit internet speed, you can imagine it's going to take a good couple of hours, a good few hours, or even half a day to get everything back onto your phone. If not, it will be far quicker, as you can see what's happening right here. So that is everything pulled down. And then once everything is pulled down, your phone will take, go off screen like this. It's not a problem. It's just going to restart. We're going to have the Apple logo. There we go. Right on cue. Come up. And then obviously your phone will start up again with the iCloud backup on your new phone. Then once this is done, you can see now we can unlock the phone. I'm going to put in my, that code what I made up. One, two, three, four. And there we have it. We have everything loading back on. The web and calendar might take a second or so to load up. But you can see here all the apps are downloading, extra apps and things like this. Like I said, it will take a minute or two to download all your apps. Which again, depends on how fast your internet is. Depends on how long it takes. Some apps will just be there because that's part of iOS. But like these benchmarking ones I've got here, they're taking a minute or so to load up. And if you do have lots and lots and lots of apps, it is going to take a while for all the apps to restore. You might just want to leave your phone again for maybe an hour or so just till everything comes back up and running. But as you can see here, it even says a message at the top that it's been fully restored stored now and everything is working there so there we go we've got my weather coming up my calendar's working now and everything seems to be fully working and there we have it, guys. That is the two ways that you can transfer all your data, photos, everything over to your brand new iPhone from your old iPhone. I hope this guide has been super useful for you. And if you have enjoyed watching it, please do press the like button. If you want the latest news, reviews, comparisons, and guides like this one, for example, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell. Until next time, guys, I will see you really soon. Take care. Bye-bye.